Uh, the first part of this should be pretty familiar. The idea behind a full stack AV platform is that yes, it, it does tie data, devices, a, uh, the, the connected cloud, all of which to serve the express purpose of tying actions and insights to real time experience in the system. Now that's all made possible with a portfolio of native devices that are inherent within that system, that are designed to work together and they're tested to work together, whether those are touchscreens, amplifiers, loudspeakers, cameras, uh, whatever it is, that is all within the same umbrella. And every core in our processing line uses the same operating system as well, which means that any engineer only has one software suite to learn no matter what scale project they're working on. But that's not to say that QSIS intends to make every device uh, that you need for every system. Our intention is to create uh, vehicles that you can bring in other third-party devices uh, to complete and customize that system. And that is where QSIS Open comes into play. We have built this uh, toolbox made with industry standard protocols, things like HTML5, CSS, Lua, these are not things that we've invented, but we've pulled from uh, industry standards so that uh, A, you're not having to kind of like crawl through proprietary uh, manuals to understand how it works because it's already being used over throughout the world. And, uh, and when you do need help, we provide a vehicle uh, via QSIS communities to get help from around the world. Uh, and then there are partnerships. So we have huge alliance partners, uh, Google, Lenovo, Microsoft, Intel, Zoom, uh, uh, Dell. Uh, we have over 100 technology partners that we work with. So whatever installation you are working on, we are likely to have some sort of uh, little magic you know, gizmo that we've created to work with them to make your installation life easier. Uh, and that is effectively what Full stack AV is in a, in a nutshell, we're gonna dive into that center stack. We're gonna look at that AV platform and better understand what that technology stack means and what you should be looking for in that system. Starting with multimodal IO. Uh, the idea behind this is that you should expect your system to be able to use the connected devices as data raw data for insights and actions. It, it, it is effectively the, the building blocks for all of that insight. And then on the other side, the other side of the IO, the O, you should expect that, again, your AV system is that last bastion of hope before that experience is delivered to the end customer. And so that kind of completes the multimodal IO. Next is the cognitive cloud. So you would expect to have an advanced cloud infrastructure to support your systems today for things like you know, real-time monitoring and managing of your systems, but it also supports you for future capabilities, like incorporating AI cognitive um, uh, services, machine learning, anything that's gonna help incorporate all of your devices in your ecosystem together. And then right there at the center of the center is the Intelligent Platform OS. Uh, this is how we are delivering integrated audio, video, and control. Uh, no longer are you gonna have to connect a separate audio processor from a video processor, from uh, a control processor, because it's already doing so automatically within the stack. Uh, the other thing, as Nate mentioned, all of our devices, all of our processors, all of our um, connected peripherals, they're all running the same OS which is advantageous for a lot of reasons. It means that from a programming perspective, you're only overcoming one learning curve. And uh, when you make an update, it does so at a centralized point. Um, and then th the other thing that should be noted is that every piece of communication that's happening between the cognitive cloud and the multimodal IO is being governed and traffic copped by that integrated platform OS. And that's not just within that stack. It means everything connected to your AV system. This means that you're reducing the number of subsystems that are governing the totality of your system. It means that you're removing points of failure um, at an exponential level, by the way. And ultimately, it gives your system the best chance to deliver a holistic experience for the end user and uh, effectively uh, reduce the total cost of ownership of the system. If you want more information, that lower third should be saying qsys.com slash full stack to learn a little bit more.